What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And you know, Umar Johnson is back at it again, and I hate to do this, but I got to, right? Umar Johnson is back at it again. Now, you know, Brother Umar always talk about the brother is brilliant. I believe he's highly astute. He's highly intellectual. He is a certified psychologist. Definitely went to, uh, I believe he went to Lake Erie Osteopathic School of Medicine and got his doctorate in psychology, psych D. And the brother is a gifted speaker. I talked about that in the last video. People were mad at me for giving him even that many props. But the truth is the truth. But Umar Johnson's ego is getting him into trouble one more again. And the other day, I happened to be just, you know, I follow him on Instagram. I do watch his lives. Some of the things he talks about, he's definitely right on point with it. I mean, a lot of things that he does say, I can agree with. You know, leaving his personal life out of there. With his commentary about, you know, Pan-Africanism in the black community, some of the things, a lot of the things I would say I, I, I agree with enough to pay attention to what he has to say, because I believe that the brother does get it on many parts. No doubt about that. But Dr. Umar Johnson did something the other day that was very interesting. And on this page on a post on Facebook, he says, you know, Africa is the future, which is true. It is right. Top 25 Pan-Africanists of all time, not in any order. So it's interesting who was on here, right? He has some people, Prime Minister Patrice Lumumba, former Prime Minister of the Democratic Republic of Congo, Bishop Henry McTeel, Henry McNeil Turner, all right, uh, Marcus Garvey, uh, Thomas Sankara, Burkina Faso, definitely, I think he has to be like number one. Uh, Dr. Amos Wilson, John Henry Clark, Samora Michelle of Mozambique. Uh, I mean, there are some pretty interesting names on there. Malcolm X. But then there's Dr. Umar Afatunde Oka Ogantunda Tade, right? Who is that? That's Umar Johnson. He considers himself one of the top 25 people in pan-africanism of all time and as i read that i'm sitting back thinking what in the hell are you smoking what crack nigga are you <laughs> you i mean and, and again here we go with the fact that i'm just such a big egotistical maniac i put my own self in the top 25 Pan-African leaders of all time. In the same conversation as a Malcolm X. In the same conversation as a John Henry Clark. In the same conversation as a Samora Michelle. You know, he even have Nelson Mandela up there. Which, you know, some people are talk about Nelson Mandela all you want. Steve Biko. I mean, you know, Nelson Mandela back in the day was hey, listen, Nelson Mandela was that nigga. Steve Beagle was a was 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 with was with was 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 with, was with it all. We're gonna be you know Jeremy Rollins out of Ghana. If you want to talk about Pan Africanism, you know you could talk about so many other people that we could discuss. Leaders who have done things to bring the continent to where it's at today, in a positive light. In a positive light, Paul Kagame. I mean, who could discount the thing that he's doing with Rwanda? But Omar Johnson, my question is, number one, what have you done in black America? Okay, we ain't even gonna talk about Africa because we know you're not doing anything over, over there or in Pan-Africanism. Just because you have a great rhetoric and you can wear daishikis and you can call yourself an African name really, nigga? and pour libations, that doesn't make you a great Pan-Africanist. See, a lot of you niggas out here think that because 
you have great oration your oratory skills are on point you talk really well you have done lectures you speak very well that makes you a pan-africanist it doesn't it makes you a negro that can talk good <laughs> you have to actually do work in building pan-african principles not theories but working to get them accomplished for example dr kwame nkrumah we cannot only talk about him for being pan-african not only although he had an arab wife but look at what he did the Volta Dam was built as infrastructure that was used to then not only give electricity to the power source of Ghana, but to other countries nearby, Ivory Coast, right? Dr. Kwame Nkrumah used to use money to loan it to other African countries. That is Pan-Africanism, right? Building on the ideologies that Africa needed to be independent of the West and using the influence to push those things on the narrative. That is an example. Samora Michelle in Mozambique worked with Zambia. Robert Mugabe, who should have been on the list, pushing out the Portuguese. And then getting the oppressors out of Africa. You're calling yourself in the same name as them. But you haven't even accomplished anything in America outside of speaking engagements. There's no pan-African infrastructure that Umar Johnson can actually say, I have built. At least you can say that with Marcus Garvey. With some of the companies that he started. The organizations that he started. You haven't even done that. And then, in order for you to really be a Pan-African scholar or a top 25 Pan-African person, you have to have, in my opinion, and get this, something that is tangible on the continent of Africa, something established. You cannot talk about Pan-Africanism, and in my opinion, and people call this controversial, Marcus Garvey didn't go to Africa, so... For me, it's hard to put him in the top 25. But for Umar Johnson, who has nothing going on in Africa that is tangible, how can you be a Pan-African? There's nothing that you have established in Africa that makes you even in the same vein or same light as any of those people. You've done nothing on the level of Dr. Kwame, even Oprah Winfrey would be a bigger Pan-Africanist than you on the continent, because at least she got a school in South Africa. There's nothing that you have established on the continent of Africa. Can you see, can will Umar Johnson even go to Africa if somebody ain't paying him for a speaking engagement? That's all you do is speak. I think you're a brother that just, you talk real good, but you have nothing that is a con that's as tangible on the continent of Africa. People who are true Pan-Africanists, in my opinion, like Thomas Sankara, when he took over Burkina Faso in the mid, in the mid early, early to mid eighties, you saw hospitals, you saw different things, you saw the reshaping of the mind. And I would at least include Malcolm X in some of those things, at least obviously, because the reshaping of the mind was important. But Thomas Sankara reshaped the mind of the people built hospitals, built infrastructure, did things that better the lives of people in Burkina Faso. We cannot say that Umar Johnson does those things. He'll be relatively unknown. Uh, you know, like Patrice Lumumba. Uh, you, you also have a Dr. Uh, you know, Lumumba out in Kenya. Things, they have initiatives that push Africa forward. Okay? There's nothing that Umar Johnson does that pushes Africa forward. It just doesn't. It doesn't. And again, bro, if you are the top 25 Pan-Africanists of all time, why isn't somebody else saying it? The fact that you have to say it about yourself proves that you're not in the top 25, bro. You had to put yourself in the top 25. And really, because if you look at anybody in the African Union and they were to rank the top 25 Pan-Africans of all time, ask the African presidents to vote on it. 
I can guarantee won't none of them vote your ass as one. Oh my God. Not one. They can't because you don't do anything. You're a guy, you go, you, you, you do your talks, you do your controversial talks and you go home. And you talk about, you know, you, you, I mean, I'm only, I'm not dealing with any of your personal issues right now. I'm not dealing with, you know, your scandals you may have. I'm not dealing with that. I'm dealing with the fact that you don't have no ID, no, no business calling yourself top 25 Pan-Africanists of all time. And you have done nothing to prove that. Just ridiculous. And it just goes to show how sick some people are, bro. Like who, who does that? I mean, you're just self-absorbed, bro. You really think that you are greater than what you are. And to a lot of people, I'm going to be honest, it's a joke. All right? It's a joke. No, it's hard for anybody to take you serious. I mean, I know that I can't. I mean, it's fun talking about you. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, 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 mean, but I, I just can't take a lot of the things that you say serious. Although you do make good points and you are intelligent. But a lot of stuff you say, some of the things you say to a point, I'm like... <laughs> <sighs> Here we go again. All right. But anyways, shout out to everybody, man. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson with another episode of Celebrity Drunk. We out this piece. Make sure you like, comment, hit the bell. It's all of that. Um, and as you know, the buffoonery is at an all-time high. Go to the first comment. Check all my information, and we about here.